This podcast is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. Visit the Tech Podcast Network at www.techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here. Gospel Gadget Podcast, Episode 43. Welcome, listeners, to Gospel Gadget Podcast. We want to show you what God is doing in terms of using technology to spread the gospel message all over the world and especially cross culturally towards unreached peoples. Once again, Gospel Gadget fans, to another great episode of Gospel Gadget Podcast. I'm your announcer, Cal Curtis, and we're very excited once again today to bring you another Gospel Gadget, a very exciting new tool that's actually just come out called the Connect Box. It's a very similar technology to the Dove Stream, if you saw our last episode, where it develops or creates its own Wi-Fi network, and you can join that network, and once you do, uh, you open up your browser, any browser, to any website, and it automatically directs you into the unit where gospel films and animations and Bibles can be had in your heart language. Now, this is a little write-up that uh, I found about the Connect Box, and I'll just read this to you. Connect Box are self-contained, self-powered, Wi-Fi-based portable media distribution system. It allows users to create a full-featured, quote, digital library, unquote, from which media, text, video, audio applications can be shared on mobile phones, tablets, laptops, desktops, in any off-the-grid environment without depending on access to the internet or electricity. That's great. Any device with Wi-Fi capability can wirelessly connect to a connect box and access and download content with a simple web browser. ConnectBox will support over 16 plus simultaneous 360p video streams and download sessions from different devices and that's all at once. So unlike the DoveStream which could only do perhaps 8 to 10 uh, continual streams of video, this one can do nearly twice as much, 16 and a half or 16, excuse me, 16 plus uh, different streams at one time and uh, so that's pretty amazing Uh, this unfortunately this device doesn't have certain features that the DoveStream has like it doesn't have a uh, built-in chat room text chat room like the uh, DoveStream does and the analytics as far as who has gone on what day and what did they watch and it's not quite as nice and clear and helpful as the DoveStream is but it is uh, considerably cheaper. I mean, it's $15 cheaper per unit. Uh, the connect boxes to the Dove Stream uh, and uh, many other features that I will be explaining in the video that's coming right now. Hello again, Gospel Gadget fans. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, another very interesting device, very similar again to the DoveStream in terms of the technology. Uh, It's a uh, device that produces its own Wi-Fi network and it's called the ConnectBox. This is what it looks like. It's uh, very similar to the DoveStream that we were looking at before. It has a a USB connector there. Uh, This time it has an antenna that you can remove, but uh, uh, we'll talk about this more 
a little bit later. It also has a USB, um, low profile USB. You can put a bunch of films on there. I think you can put probably up to 50 films on this particular one and then a charger and so forth. Uh, but again, very much like the Dove Stream uh, in that once you turn it on, it creates its own Wi-Fi network. That Wi-Fi network can be picked up by any Wi-Fi capable device. And once you link to it and open up your browser, then you have access to everything that's here on the unit and uh, gospel films, animations, uh, the Bible, everything that you want to put on there. It's made available to the people in their heart language. That's what we want. Uh, the interesting thing about this one that's unique from the DoveStream, uh, other than the fact that it's cheaper, it's about $50, this particular device, but also, uh, and probably because of the um, antenna and other um, the components inside the device, uh, it is much more powerful. The signal goes probably at least 150 to 200 meters, probably. Um, you can also add another antenna that's even longer. It'll go even a greater distance. And uh, also, this particular device, it's a little bit heavier, but not much heavier than the DoveStream. Uh, but the battery allows it to last for 10 hours on a charge. That's incredible. 10 hours on a charge. So uh, this makes it very portable, very affordable. It's not the most beautiful device, but it's functional. And uh, again, it's small enough that you could put it in your backpack, uh, maybe not in your pocket, but in your backpack, uh, and walk around and be a walking evangelistic studio, sharing the gospel with the unreached, wherever you happen to be, in a mall, uh, in a long bus ride, train ride, um, wherever. So this is another unit that's just come out. It's sort of in the testing phase, but uh, I can say that it's it's really, really great. And it's solid. You can drop it. It's it's made to, to be on the field and in difficult, difficult circumstances that you might find yourself in. Uh, another cool thing about this that's a little bit different from the DoveStream is that the USB here really only contains the media. It doesn't contain any uh, software. And so there's no um, messing around with, with coding or anything like that that you need to do a little bit of a, with the DoveStream. But with this, you just take a simple blank USB, plug it in your laptop, create folders or directories, drop your material in each one, name it what you want to name it, plug it in, and then it creates its own internal interface from the material that you put on it. So uh, that's pretty good. It makes it much, much easier uh, for people to get started with it uh, that maybe aren't highly technical. Uh, so this is a great device. Connect box, only $50. Uh, you're going to be hearing more about this device, I guarantee. Uh, this was produced by a friend of mine that works with uh, uh, OM, Operation Mobilization, and also the MAF people, a Missionary Aviation Fellowship. So... Uh, this is another great device you got to get your hands on.